Guess what they're not telling you that is happening? Uh, 250 million people participate in a nationwide general strike in India. And I can't believe that's not all over Fox, MSNBC, and CNN. Huh. I mean, what's up is, well, first of all, here's, here's another picture. Look at that picture. Largest protest in history of the world. 250 million on strike all over India at the, mo at the movement. Sea of red flags is marching towards Delhi. Look how many people in India want ponies. <laughs> I blame Russia. I guess Russia's meddling in India now. Is that what's happening? I wonder if the media is calling all those people looters. <laughs> By the way, this is this is this is what a protest looks like. Two hundred and fifty million people when your health care isn't tied to your employment. Largest strike ever in India shakes up Modi government. By the way, this is what a revolution looks like, not a meme about Kamala Harris. The biggest general strike in the world, over 200 million workers and farmers paralyze India. Workers in India last week launched a general strike that brought out an estimated 250 million people, arguably the largest in human history. Wow. 250 million people. That's the thing about India. Not enough people. <laughs> 250 million people in India. That's like, that's like the, our equivalent of Trenton. <laughs> uh, now they're joining hands with farmers to protest Modi's pro-corporate far-right agenda. The strike saw stoppage of works in banks, wow. financial services, various government services, transport, steel units, ports and docks, telecommunication services. Uh-oh, work stoppages and telecommunications. There goes Hotels.com, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Uh, plantations, power generating units, coal and other mines, oil and natural gas production units, and many other industries. It's like a general strike is happening. What I've been saying needs to happen here, what a lot of people have been saying needs to happen here. That's another solution. Another solution is a general strike. And why isn't Bernie Sanders and the progressives calling for a general strike to get us health care in the middle of the pandemic? Because they're feckless. And there's no point to them. Really? Yes. Yes. Government offices, railways, post and telegraph services and scores of other government offices are also likely to be affected as employees will hold solidarity demonstrations. That's what we, that's what we need here. We need to, we need farmer and the desk worker. We need the agricultural worker and the the industry, county, city. That's what we need here. Several hundred thousand women working as Angonwandi child's a child care center workers as, as child care workers, helpers, health care workers, midday meal cooks, and those employed in other government-run schemes have also gone on strike. Well, how many, what is there, 300 million Americans? How many, how many, what's this, what's the population of America now? Is it 300 million? 200, that'd be like if almost every person in America went on strike. Scores of other government offices are also likely to be affected as employees will hold solidarity demonstrations. The Labor Federation's joint platform put forth demands for a minimum income, food for, this is what they want, minimum income, food for four families, a guaranteed number of workdays, higher wages, pensions for everyone, and an ending of forced early retirements. It's called for the government. It has this movement has called for the government to stop privatizations and also withdraw all anti-farmer laws and anti-worker labor codes. 
Additional demands emerged around a range of issues from ending the outsourcing of work to reimposition of a 12 hour day. The provision of safety measures to stop the spread of COVID was a key issue as India has the second highest coronavirus infection rate in the world. And by the way, 19 million Americans are about to lose their, get kicked into the streets. 19 million Americans are about to get kicked into the streets. And the government isn't doing a fucking thing to help you. So that's what we need here in the United States. We need, we need 250 million people in the street. You know, if we got a million people in the street, that was all it would take. If we could get the Ralph's workers, just the Ralph's, the grocery store workers could shut down the entire state of California and the entire state of California is the fifth largest economy in the world. Bigger economy than Russia. California does. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. <laughs> 